guys, it's Wendy, aka Kitty Street, and I'm back with another Timu Tuesday, and we're continuing on with some more kitchen gadgets. Guys, Timu has the best kitchen gadgets known to man for the best price, at least in my opinion. So I'm not going to ramble. I'm going to jump right on into it, and I'm going to start off with one of my favorite, favorite um, orders ever. Now I have like three of these now. I'm going to order another one. I've been ordering them when they come in a little bit cheaper. I will put all of the, um, items that I show you in this Timo Tuesday in the description box. However, something like this, um, I got it on my sponsorship for the very first one. The second and third one that I bought with my own hard earned money was one was $4 and one was $2. So I got them in different price ranges. So I'm trying to get another one and I'm waiting till it gets down back to the two to $4 range, but you never know know they every day check it every single day this is my favorite i have i use these glasses almost daily um, this is one that i just had picked up out of my cabinet because the other two are dirty and in my dishwasher so all it is is a wonderful little glass now if you have children toddlers things like that um, don't have these around. I don't even, I do not even bring this out when I have my grandson because it is a pure glass and the straw is pure glass. But if you're an adult and you want an adult beverage, you know, some coffee, I don't know what you want to put in there. I do different things. Um, it is just luxury all the way around worth the money. You can get these little coaster tops in different, um, uh, colors. Um, I love this kind of honey blonde wood looking color and it has a suction cup around it so things will not spill out and I just feel so grown when I have this cup so enough about that um, I highly recommend it it is glass some people say when it's shipped it does come with um you know it's broken and I did pull mine out um, but I do have some of it because I have a bunch of <laughs> this stuff sitting up here to the side that I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with it uh, matter of fact this might have been the one it came in I'm not quite sure but yes I now have three of them I'm gonna get another one and I love their glass stuff um, probably won't get no more after that for a while because there's so much other stuff and next thing I'm going to talk about are these right here this is the little pe hot pepper and this is the little carrot um, you can see I've gotten some use out of it. I do have a little video that I um, forgot to link into my last one, and um, I'm going to show you what it is. So these right here, and I've already ordered several uh, more. This is one that, I, that came in a recent order, and I thought I'd just let you know that I love, love, love these. And what they are, they have a little groove right here. You fill up a pot of water when you're going to boil pasta or rice or whatever you're using, some hot water, boiling some water on the stove. You put this on the little pot, and you'll see in the video why I recommend these. These were, um, I think I got the first one for 69 cents, but I got that um, price reduction for like a dime or something like that. So they're between 59 and 69 cents, well worth the money. They have different types. I think there's a chicken um, leg now. I may get that one. Um, it's never um, too bad to have a couple of them on there if you're doing a couple of, of multiple pots at one time. Definitely get these, and I will insert the video somewhere in this video, probably towards the guys, I'm just testing out this little carrot that I purchased from Tamu that you put on the side of your pot. And yes, I'm boiling some pasta. And I just wanted to see if it was going to boil over. So I'll give it a few minutes. That's as high as it's gotten. And it's actually not boiling over. If this is true, I'm going to, if it doesn't boil over, I'm going to purchase me at least um, minimum two or three of them. Because sometimes we cook um, several different meals with where I have to boil things all at once and I would definitely like to have you know a couple more on hand to do everything at once but so far almost a minute in well actually it's been probably like I set it for six minutes so it's two minutes in and yes <laughs> and I've got it on high so it's it's not boiling over and usually because I always step away cutting up um, are preparing other things for the, the whatever I'm gonna do for that meal. And I'll look back and the whole thing's overflowing. That's awesome. So yes, now we're into three minutes. Uh, I know I started this after the facts, but I'm looking at my timer on my stove. Three minutes and this thing is not boiling over. So I'm just so tickled to death. 
pleased with this. Very nice. Okay, guys, um, I'll probably insert this into one of my kitchen gadgets. I just wanted to kind of show you, you know, an honest review. Um, nearly three minutes, almost four now, going into this boiling water, and it has not overflowed. Awesome. Another winter, winter chicken dinner. And just so you can see an idea of if it's yay or nay. Okay. All right. I just thought I would bring these back. Guys, I got these in my 50 cent challenge. Um, I have not used them, but I just wanted to tell you, if you don't have these, this is what they look like. They are stinking cute. Um, they just say tasty tomato ketchup. You know, if you have the little funnel, which I, I'm going to tell you, I'm trying to get the little tiny funnel. Um, you can put a little ketchup in there or whatever you want to. I'm holding these out for a little barbecue thing and I'm going to do um, real soon. And then, of course, you got the one that says honey mustard. Um, I just thought I'd do a shout out with them because they're just too stinking cute not to. And you can always usually find the set for less than a dollar and sometimes on the lightning deals for less than 50 cents. So highly recommend those just to, you know, have, have some fun in your life. Okay, I did buy... Um, well, I got these on my sponsorship and I did buy me some coffee grounds and I have not used this. So I'm definitely going to do a video on this one for sure. Um, because I finally got the actual coffee grounds because I always buy the pods for the Keurig or the knockoff for the Keurigs if you have that. Um, but one of my, um, su subscribers told me that they have, um, uh, little filters for this. And how do you open this booger? You guys show you I haven't even opened this yet. Little filters. Oh, here we go. Little filters, okay? So I'm going to wait. I'm going to order the little filters. I don't know if it'll be in this video for this one, but you will see it in another kitchen gadget. Um, I hate to do that to you, but I just kind of wanted to let you know. These, um, I got two of them, one for a backup because I'm getting back into drinking my morning coffee. Um, I'm needing to do that because it helps curb my appetite, at least I think so. And I'm going to get the little filters that go in it, and then I will do a whole little demonstration. But this is no you know, kind of common sense stuff. I love it. I highly recommend it. I'm probably going to get a couple more because I just saw that they came out in purple color. And yeah, I've got to have me some purple ones. So I think these for both of them was a little over a dollar. And I will link this in the description box. And these are just those ones you put in coffee grounds and you put them in your automatic Keurig or coffee maker and it's supposed to do the job. But since I've heard that they have the little filters and I should have waited and got those and showed you at the same time, It'll come back. You'll see it. Okay, another thing that I have used, this is my second set of these. Um, I have a little video. I think I'm going to do a video where I just show you how they work. Um, at first, I thought they were going to be too thick. This was just little pumps. Um, and I, like I said, this whole set was like $2 and some change. And it came with three of them. They have the thick straws on them. And I use these um, for my coffee syrups, the big bottles of coffee syrups that I get like at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and things like that um, and Ross. And they do the job. They squirt out just a couple of squirts because otherwise I'm just pouring the whole bottle into my stuff and that's not ever good for anything. So yeah, I got these. Oh, I actually wrote on here so, so I wouldn't forget it. It was $2.87. So if you're wondering what that little black mark is, that's what it is. Highly recommend these. I have them in the black and in the gold and I love them. Love, love, love them. And I know you guys will love them too. I will link that in the description box. Okay. These right here is my second set of these, my second order. I didn't think I was going to run through them as fast as I was. Um, I love these things. I mean, these things do the job. They got this the little, uh, more firm side and the softer side. Um, this was on my lightning deal. I think I got these things for like 20, 30 cents. I'm not even remembering what it was, what they were, but I will put them in the description box. You cannot beat this. There's 10 of these um, pads inexpensive and they're multi-use. You can use them in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in your car, and anywhere you want to. In the laundry room, you know, outdoors, everywhere you can think, they are fine. Use them and then they're done, one and done. So that's probably why you're getting 10 in a pack. I will link those in the description box. Another thing that I absolutely love, this is the one I grabbed out of my pantry, um, I'm a pantry, my cabinet by my, my dishwasher, and I have one that I have not yet opened up. I thought I was gonna give this to my mom, I don't know. I'll have to order some more, but these are life savers. Now, this one is not the one. This is actually a spoon rest, and I don't have a spoon to put anything on, um, and I don't know if I'm going to put any videos in this one other than the um, boiling pot one, but you rest your 
um, your spoons, your spatulas, whatever, on this little thing. And there's one, two, three, four, which is perfect because you're cooking multiple things usually and you have different slots. Now, they ha I have a couple of them that has a lid. I keep hearing something popping around me. I don't know what it is. I hope it's <laughs> nothing's crazy is going to happen in this video. Uh, I think a bag's just kind of rolling over, you know, when they're kind of have too much on the weight. And I'm like, what is that noise? But anyway, I have... <coughs> on that note, I have the um, one with the lid and I love them. I got these for less than 50 cents. I did get multiple of them and I use this to death. Um, I immediately put this in um, hot water and wash it so it doesn't get stained up and dirty. I also hand wash this cup. It never goes into my dishwasher because I want it to keep it looking as new as possible for as long as possible and I baby it. So these right here, I will link in the description box. They're just spoon rests or lid racks is what it's called. I don't know why it's called a lid rack because it don't have a lid spot. Well, actually, I think you might probably could put your lids like that and your spoons may go on this side, but I'm going to be honest with you. I've been putting my spoons right here because I have another one that I've used for my lids. And yeah, I love these. I love Timu's kitchen gadgets and you cannot, you're never going to find them as cheap as they are. I thought I would throw this in here. I've only used this once. It's an omelet maker. Again, I got this in my 50 cents challenge for under 50 cents. Now I have the frying pan with the four egg um, circles in it. So I'd use that more than not because I make more than one egg at a time. However, I have been thinking about doing this to do like um, some Canadian bacon and a over easy egg and maybe even a small tiny omelet. I haven't thought about it. Now this was more of a, a, it was like 50 cents. So I'm not, you know, mad about it, but it does get dirty and you do have to baby it because it gets, you know, all the egg stuff around it. However, if you use something like some butter spray or some kind of, you know, spray on it, which I did not when I did it the very first time. And I may do a video on it again, um, in particular, just to show you. And I might try to find different ways to do it. But, you know, for 50 cents and a little egg um, omelet maker, I think it's a little good. I, I think it's, you know gonna be something like that other pan I love it and I've done a review if you haven't if you're new here and you don't know I'm talking about the little four eggs the circles go look at my playlist and look at my first I think it's my first kitchen gadgets um, that I did and I make a whole little breakfast for you guys okay let's talk about this one here this is a new one for me because I have two more of these that I got on my 50 cents challenge now they're a little bit over a dollar I got this one for I think a little bit over a dollar so look for those deals always put things in your cart and keep them in there and try to get those deals. Now, I have got caught a couple of times thinking I'm waiting on deals and it gets higher and higher and higher. And this is one of them. Now, I love, love, love this. Um, I use this also in hot soapy water. I do not put this in the dishwasher. Um, and basically, you know, of course, this new one's going to be kind of fidgety. Oh, there we go. So you basically put, you know, I, I'm going to be honest, I put a lot, I do butter, I've done olive oil, I've done marinade, and you have your handy dandy little uh, brush right here that's right on there. You push it down, you just do your little thing. These little silicone things clean up so well in hot soapy water. You pop it back on there and it stays in one spot. It's not everywhere and not messy. Um, this, like I said, is about my third one and I'm kind of wanting a reason <laughs> to have more. Okay, this here has made me the winner, winner chicken dinner in my house with my grandson. Uh, matter of fact, it still, <laughs> it still has some <laughs> crust on there from the bread. Um, I got this little mold in my 50 cents challenge of a car. My grandson is into anything with cars. Vroom, vroom. He can speak and say cars and he wants to talk about cars 24 seven. He is a true, true boy. Okay, so um, this right here, I've made peanut butter and jelly um, sandwiches and did the little mold, pressed it down, came out perfectly. Um, I've done, um, I have actually done pancakes. I've not, I haven't done too much with it, but the few things that I have, he loves it. When he first saw it, and I didn't think nothing about it, I just thought it would be cute to do it. His little eyes, and if I could have got, I, I've tried since then to get it on video, but it's never gonna be like the first reaction. But his face was like, car, and it was awesome. And so I, you know, I just felt like Timu, you made a great memory in my house. I'm, I'm the glamour now, and this was like 50 something cents, and I will link this in the description box. Kids love this kind of stuff. I remember my mom having something similar like this, but it wasn't a car. I don't know what it was. It was like a rainbow or something like that. And she would do little things 
when I was young and I always remember that. So I'm hoping that that will be something he will remember as well. And last but not least, I'm bringing back this beautiful, beautiful, let me get the little tea cozy out here, cup, because I don't know if I've ever even talked about it. Um, this is my second one. I got one on an order. Can I get the little thing out? I got one of these cups um, on, a, on my sponsorship. Actually, this is my sponsorship cup, but I've since ordered three of them and I've given them away for birthday gifts, anniversary gifts, and secret Santa, uh, secret, um, it's called Secret Santa, but it's called Secret Sister. And, you know, that's a whole nother thing. But, guys, this is so cute. Now, I've only drank out of it twice. And both times, I was like, you know, just being prissy. This is more for looks than anything else. But look at the detailing of it. I did take it out of the styrofoam, so that's why it's like that. Um, and I do keep it in a styrofoam. I don't keep these in a styrofoam, but I do have a place that I put them that... Um, has a softer barrier around it. So if they do slide around or get knocked around, they're kind of protected a little bit. Um, but the detailing on this, I just had to tell you about it. And if you want to give out gifts, it comes with a little tea cozy um, thingy right here. I've done that to keep stuff on our walk away, but it's really for this right here. It's really for you to put under there. And it's just adorable. And I haven't used this in a hot minute. Um, I think I'm going to be doing this in, in a, a video soon. But look, it gets even better. It has a handy dandy little um, teaspoon with that beautiful rose. And this always makes me think about um, Beauty and the Beast, um, Belle. I don't know why. Maybe it's the rose, even though that's a blue rose. And it has a little um, soft uh, cloth to... Uh, clean it up after the fact. Guys, I will link this in the description box. I do not remember because I got this on a sponsorship. I, I think one of them that I paid as high as $8 and one time I think I got it for $10 um, twice. Um, it varies. Timu does that to you, but I don't mind because um, sometimes I have gifts that I have to purchase things that are less than $10 and that's, it's very hard to do that and get something that you know I would want and um, yes, I'm not saying I'd go out and pay $10 for a glass that you may never use, but if you are into this kind of stuff and you adore it like I do, I mean, those, these butterflies are just making me so happy right now. I highly recommend it. So guys, this is my Timu Tuesday gadget series, um, and I'm gonna continue on. I've got two more for sure that I've um, just purchased some more Timu gadgets for the kitchen, and I um, can't wait to show you how those work out. I'm super excited about that, and I will link at least the one or two videos in this one. But with that said, guys, I hope that you enjoyed some of this stuff. You may even have some of that stuff. And comment in there, if you did watch it till the end, comment and put a little butterfly emoji so I know you guys are checking me out till the end and enjoy the video that's coming up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.